Hello, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and I'm going to show people a little bit about their computer and how they can make organized things for themselves. So, one of the things is on the, you'll notice on the bottom on this uh, start bar, uh, there's I have little icons going across the bottom here. So let's say that you access a program a lot and you want it down here, so you could just click on it without having to go to start all the time. Now let's say that you use Microsoft uh, Word a lot. All you'd have to do is take it, hold your mouse down, uh, on left click and hold the mouse down, drag and drop it and just pin it. You pin it to the taskbar. And then that way it's always going to be there for you. And then you just click and it'll open and you're ready to go. Whenever you want to delete something uh, from the start bar, uh, what, we, what you'll do is you'll right click on it, like so, right click on your mouse, unpin this program from the taskbar and then then it'll disappear so that's a quick little tutorial on how to add things to your start bar okay now one of the things that I like to do is I don't like my uh, start bar across the bottom I like it over here on the right because it, it's just more natural for me so if you want to move your taskbar over to the right or maybe you want it on the top or on the left hand side what you would do is go across a blank find a blank spot in your taskbar right click and select properties then you're gonna have this little box show up and see where it says start menu or uh, taskbar right here where it says taskbar see we have it on the bottom you just select what side you want it on and then click apply and you'll notice that it will go to the right if you want it on the top you uh, select top apply and it'll go across the top if you want it on the left hand side do the same thing so I like to have mine on the right because that's what works best for me and that's how you do that. Some other interesting things that you might find uh, about your taskbar, like if you want it to auto hide, you click auto hide the taskbar and click apply, and you'll notice that it will disappear. But whenever you mo move over towards it, it will appear again. And it doesn't matter on what, what side that it's on. So, and then uh, I like mine to always be there because I like it having av available. The other thing you can do is use small icons. If you use small icons, then you have a, a taskbar like that. And I kind of like the smaller icons because I can see them fine. Uh, here's the notification area. You can notify, uh, customize which uh, icons and notifications appear in the notification area by clicking Customize. And the notification area is this little area down here by your clock. Okay, so sometimes you might want things on there. Sometimes you might not want, might not. So you do that. Click OK. Um, more about the start menu. Uh, whenever you hit the, the power button on your computer, you can have it shut down, switch user, log off, or lock it. Uh, you could store and display recently open programs in the start menu. Uh, uh, this is uh, under the privacy setting, or store recently displayed items. So that means whenever you go to uh, the start, okay, it's going to, whenever you hover over this, you'll see like my Adobe Photoshop it'll show the last things that I had open in there or uh, my Microsoft uh, Word the different things that I have had open recently so that's what that's all about there now if we go to toolbars uh, another thing that if you want displayed a lot of, some people were asking me uh, you know they like their desktop a link to their desktop to be displayed on there so what they would do is they would tick this under toolbars cl click apply and you'll see that the desktop will appear so and then everything that's on your desktop will be there okay links is another thing uh, you can display links uh, and then this will show the different links that you have in your browser and if you like to ha to be able to go to internet addresses from your uh, start bar, you can do that and then type in an address. This would probably work better if your uh, task bar was on the bottom or the top, but uh, I don't need that, so I'd leave that in there. So this is all about the uh, task and s start menu properties uh, for your computer and to help you organize it a little bit better. Another thing that I'll show you that uh, a lot of people... Uh, either don't know is that some things are almost too easy and so it, let's say that you have a folder open here and you wanted to move some files into this folder see we'll have this folder I got this folder called Ashley and let's say that I wanted to move some of her pictures in here so always I would take it I could take drag and drop it and I could go back and forth okay now let's say that I wanted 
to uh, you know simplify my desktop a little bit I know a lot of people have a lot of stuff on their desktop they can create a folder and then just move one folder into another folder just like that and you'll notice that I moved Ashley into that folder and that's how easy it is to um, move folders and files around so I hope this uh, made makes people's lives a little bit easier I hope you enjoyed the tutorial this is Max with a1websitepro.com thanks